SpaceX isn't just upgrading spacesuits, they're rewriting the future of spacewalks. And their boldest move yet? A jetpack. Yeah, you heard that right, a real, functioning Iron Man-style jetpack built into a next-gen EVA suit. While NASA abandoned the idea decades ago after just three risky missions, SpaceX is bringing it back, smarter, safer, and sleeker than ever before. So why did SpaceX decide to do this? How will SpaceX revive it? Find out the answer in today's TechMap episode. On September 12, 2024, SpaceX made history with its Polaris Dawn mission by successfully completing the first ever private spacewalk. This wasn't just a milestone for space tourism. It was a crucial test of SpaceX's next-generation spacesuit technology. Imagine this. You're floating in the vast vacuum of space, and the only thing keeping you alive is the suit you're wearing. That's exactly what happened. The process began with pressurizing the suit, followed by venting the cabin air to create a vacuum. Once that vacuum environment was established, it was showtime. The astronauts stepped out, relying entirely on the new suit to keep them safe. And let's just say, the suit delivered. It performed brilliantly in protecting astronauts in a vacuum, proving SpaceX's commitment to safety and engineering excellence. Now, what makes this suit so special? SpaceX calls it a suit of armor made of fabric. That's not just marketing fluff. This EVA suit was designed with advanced joint systems and smart materials that become stiff when pressurized, but remain flexible when not, offering a perfect blend of protection and movement. NASA has long aimed for this kind of balance, but SpaceX brought it to life. This suit also comes loaded with extra seals and pressure valves to ensure stable pressurization, echoing NASA's priorities around safety and redundancy. Operating at 5.1 PSI in a pure oxygen environment, this suit hits a sweet spot. It's safer than NASA's older 3.5 PSI shuttle suits and more mobile than Russia's bulkier 5.9 PSI models. That middle ground pressure dramatically reduces the risk of decompression sickness and keeps astronauts agile during EVAs. The tech doesn't stop there. The helmet's visor is coated with copper and indium tin oxide to shield astronauts from intense solar radiation and heat, something NASA's research has always flagged as critical. And just like a sci-fi movie, there's a HUD heads-up display inside the helmet, providing real-time data on suit pressure, temperature, and humidity. That's the kind of situational awareness astronauts need to stay alive and perform tasks effectively. On the manufacturing side, SpaceX is setting a new standard. These suits are crafted with innovative fabric materials and in-house techniques that make them scalable and adaptable for various body types. That's a game-changer for future Moon and Mars missions, where long-duration wear and universal fit will be essential. But let's zoom out for a second. This isn't the first time humanity has leaned on a spacesuit to survive the void. Back in 1965, Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov became the first human to conduct a spacewalk during the Voskhod 2 mission. His suit, the Berkut, worked, but barely. It inflated like a balloon in the vacuum of space, making movement nearly impossible. Leonov even struggled to re-enter the spacecraft. That moment showed just how tough it is to design a suit that balances safety, flexibility, and mobility. Now fast forward to 2024. SpaceX faced those same challenges, but crushed them with innovation. Their suit doesn't puff up. It allows astronauts to move freely while staying fully protected. This is a massive leap forward, not just for SpaceX, but for the future of human spaceflight. Private companies are now doing what only governments could do before, and sometimes even better. Here's the real kicker. SpaceX pulled this off in record time, and at a fraction of the cost. NASA's EMU suits have cost between $15 to $22 million each, with over $600 million spent on development over the decades. SpaceX hasn't released exact figures, but Polaris Dawn mission commander Jared Isaacman did share this jaw-dropper. The smart engineers over at SpaceX built an EVA suit in less than a year, he said. NASA has been working on this for quite some time, and the cost usually goes into the billions. I can assure you that SpaceX and Polaris are not investing anything even close to that. So, what do you think? Are you as excited as I am about SpaceX's new spacesuit technology? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think about this giant leap forward in space innovation. Beyond its many upgrades, 
One of the biggest differences between SpaceX's EVA suit and NASA's traditional version lies in the life support system. SpaceX's suit is tethered to the Dragon spacecraft, while NASA's system is fully self-contained, worn like a backpack. This tethered approach brings some serious advantages. The Dragon provides oxygen, power, cooling, and communications directly through the tether, meaning astronauts don't need to carry around a heavy and complex primary life support system, PLSS, on their backs like NASA's suits require. By offloading these functions to the spacecraft, SpaceX dramatically simplifies the suit design. That means fewer failure points and a more streamlined, lightweight suit that allows for greater movement and agility. It also makes manufacturing and maintenance much easier. The tether doesn't just provide life support. It also keeps astronauts from floating off into space, doubling as a safety line. It's a throwback to the Skylab era, when umbilical systems were also used instead of backpacks. Of course, there's a trade-off. Since the astronaut depends on the spacecraft for life support, their range is limited to the length of the tether. This setup is perfect for quick missions near the spacecraft, but it's not built for long-range moonwalks or Martian treks. To tackle this challenge, Elon Musk unveiled an exciting new concept, a jetpack for maneuvering, a propulsion device astronauts can wear to move freely through the vacuum of space. If this sounds familiar, it's because NASA has done something similar before. Back in the 1980s, astronauts used the Manned Maneuvering Unit, MMU, during space shuttle missions, and its modern-day successor, SAFER, Simplified Aid for EVA Rescue, still serves as an emergency tool. These jetpacks use tiny thrusters that let astronauts navigate in space without needing to be tethered. After only three missions in 1984, the MMU was retired due to serious safety concerns. The MMU allowed astronauts to travel far from the shuttle, which introduced huge risks. A post-Challenger safety review concluded that the danger of an astronaut becoming stranded was too great. Also, NASA shifted focus. Many tasks that had once required the MMU, like capturing or fixing satellites, could now be handled more safely using the shuttle's robotic Canadarm and traditional tethered spacewalks. Add to that the cancellation of shuttle-based commercial and military satellite missions, and there was little reason to keep using the MMU. Updating the MMU to meet new safety requirements would have been costly. With better options available, NASA decided it wasn't worth it. That's when they introduced SAFER, a smaller, more basic jetpack designed for emergencies only. It's there just in case an astronaut accidentally floats away. As for SpaceX, we still don't know exactly how they plan to address those same safety issues. But one possibility is that they'll design a safer, semi-tethered version, something that uses small thrusters to help astronauts move around while still being connected to the spacecraft. Still, just imagine it. A SpaceX EVA suit with a built-in jetpack. Flying through space like a superhero? That's next-level cool. SpaceX is learning from NASA's past while pushing ahead with bold new ideas. It's not just about survival. It's about making space exploration more exciting, more capable, and way more awesome. Alongside SpaceX's futuristic suits, NASA's cutting-edge Artemis spacesuit has also been turning heads in recent years. Back in March 2023, NASA and Axiom Space pulled the curtain back on a groundbreaking prototype, the next-gen suit that astronauts will wear during Artemis missions to the moon. Called the Axiom Extravehicular Mobility Unit, or Axiom U, this suit isn't just stylish, it's a leap forward in functionality. Axiom says it's designed to empower astronauts with advanced tools for lunar exploration, while also serving NASA's push for commercially developed human systems to access, live, and work on and around the moon. Based on NASA's own XMU design, the Axiom U steps it up with increased mobility, better protection from the moon's brutal environment, and smart, mission-ready tools that unlock even more opportunities for scientific discovery. Thanks to a suite of innovative tech, these suits are set to take astronauts further across the moon's surface than ever before. Now here's a cool design twist. Lunar suits need to be white to reflect heat and shield astronauts from dangerously high temperatures. But when the suit prototype was first unveiled, it wore a sleek outer shell just for display, hiding its real structure underneath. That shell was actually created with help from Estermarkey, 
the costume designer from Apple TV Plus's For All Mankind. It featured Axiom Space's branding and color palette to give the suit a little showbiz flair. Fast forward to October 2024, Axiom finally revealed the flight-ready version of the Artemis spacesuit, this time in the iconic white it'll wear on the moon. And guess who helped design it? Prada. Yes, that Prada. The new suit boasts huge upgrades over the Apollo era gear from over 50 years ago. There's a lot more mobility in this suit design, Axiom noted. It's also packed with more redundancy and real-time health monitoring, something the original Moonwalkers could only dream of. But the evolution didn't stop there. Axiom explained that the suit's internals have been evolving fast. What's underneath this layer is not the same as what was there a couple years ago, they said. This is a constantly refined piece of engineering built to meet the moon's many challenges. Then in July 2025, Axiom turned up the excitement again by announcing a partnership with Oakley for the suit's visor system. This isn't just any visor. It includes Oakley's next-gen high-definition optics, HDO just like their premium eyewear. The helmet's visor system is packed with features like a deployable two-part visor to handle extreme lighting and a second bubble helmet for added UV and dust protection. Oh, and that outer layer? It's coated in 24 karat gold, not just for style, but to combat the harsh, blinding sunlight at the lunar south pole. All those layers also help reduce lunar dust interference a major concern when you're walking for hours in one of the most unforgiving environments in the solar system. Bottom line? Axiom's Axiom U suit is light years ahead of where we were during Apollo, and it's a huge step toward humanity's return to the moon. NASA tapped Axiom Space to build the Axiom U suit back in September 2022, when it awarded it a task order valued at $228.5 million. The company also received an additional contract the following year to create the necessary modifications for the suit to operate in a low Earth orbit environment. In May, Axiom Space brought the Axiom U to NASA's Johnson Space Center, where Koichi Wakata, Axiom Space astronaut, chief technology officer, and former JAXA astronaut, performed tests inside the massive pool called the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory, NBL. Two spacesuit engineers from NASA also donned the suit in the NBL. These are early days in the NBL testing, as you can imagine. Obviously, we want to make sure this suit has integrity, and clearly that was the case, said Michael Lopez Alegria, lead astronaut at Axiom Space. We have to test out the procedures and how we go through the pressurization with a person inside instead of just a dummy or nobody.